it's getting soccer downtown and, and, and it's also moving the criminal justice complex out of the gateway of our downtown. I mean, if we finish the jail there for the next 50 years, we're gonna to continue to have that at the gateway of our downtown. And it just isn't what you know should be there. Um, and so the mixed use project that we're talking about anchored by an MLS stadium is going to create a sports and entertainment district in the heart of downtown that's unprecedented across the country. We're gonna have, I mean, think about it, you got campus marshes to Monroe to Greek town to now the MLS mixed use retail to Ford Field, Comerica, the new Red Wings Arena, Music Hall, Opera House, all of it walkable, energetic, I mean, LA Live kind of feel times five, um, a unprecedented level of teams. Maybe the Pistons come downtown. So um, I think it's really exciting. And what we need to do though, is we need to accomplish that. And the county executive has made this very clear. He's made it pretty clear we're, we're, that we're, he can't go to his taxpayers. Well, look, anymore. I mean, we need to, what we're doing now with, with the county executive's leadership is we're doing a study to, to understand what it costs to finish the jail on the current site and to rehab the court, which would need to be done because they need to be adjacent. They both need to work. What does it cost here? And what does it cost somewhere else? Mound or somewhere else? When we know that number, then we'll know what their conversation's about. I mean, people are framing this up, I think, inaccurately as a negotiation because what we first need is data. I mean, we really need mm -hmm. to know apples and apples comparison. What do these two things cost? And importantly, on the, in the case of the MLS, what else will that create? I mean, what thousands of jobs and tax revenues and other things will that create? Going to get all that information. The county exec's plan is to do that over the next four months or so. Put it all on the table and the people need to make the right call. And uh, I, I think it will come out the right way then. You're happy, at least right now, with the level of conversation and the level of openness between the various leaders, regardless of, you know, what their sure. interest is and what they're trying to protect, at least say, let's come to the table and see if we can walk away with everybody feeling as though it's a win-win. Absolutely. I mean, the county executive, uh, Warren Evans, has said, look, I love the idea, um, but, I, you know, and I, and it wasn't my idea to put the jail here, but it's, right. it's, <laughs> That's true. it's half built, man. And I got to deal with it, man. So how are we going to work with this? And so we said, OK, let's work together. We're going to have the same consultant work on both. We're going to have the same team work on both. We're gonna have apples to apples comparison. We're all working collaboratively. And then the information will speak for itself. That's why I kind of hesitate to say it's a negotiation right. because the county exec would be happy to tell you that he loves the proposed vision, but he can't do it unless it's financially viable for the county. So we need to work together to, to ascertain that and then uh, do the right thing with it. Final question, you've seen what the Cleveland Cavaliers have done for downtown Cleveland. Uh, the Pistons are still sitting out there in Oakland County. Uh, five years, 10 years from now, what's your bet that they're gonna be downtown? Well, I don't wanna get in trouble with my friend Brooks, but uh, <laughs> well, I think the Pistons are going to be the last NBA, I believe this to be true. If they're not the last, there might be there might be one other NBA team in the country that's not in the heart of the downtown urban area. Um, I think that's where they belong. I think they will be more successful there, and I think that they will have a bigger impact on the community there. So over time, I would love to see that happen. And if things go well between Mr. Gilbert and Mr. Korsh on the soccer, then that just might create a nice uh, relationship to move it one step well, further. It, well, it could. I mean, hopefully we're, we're, we're paying a lot of attention to basketball this year with the Cavs. And uh, so we're in the finals and starting in a couple of days. So, um, but we would love nothing better to have a finals game in uh, downtown Detroit with the Cavaliers and the Pistons. That'd be a lot of fun. That would be a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. I'm not, I know who I'd be rooting for, but I'm not <laughs> sure about you guys over there. All right. Good Matt, to see you. Thanks so much. Okay. Always a pleasure. Take care. Very good. Very good. Great. <laughs>